Alrighty, what's going on YouTube? We're back with uh, episode or part 9 of our Unreal Engine tutorial for how to make a uh, FPS game. Advanced FPS game with that. Advanced. It's got to be advanced. If it's not advanced, then no one wants to play it because they only play the advanced stuff because it's super cool. Anyways, so I thought I'd just check up on my garden. Yes, still looking stupid. Anyways, uh, I had gotten some requests for this, and so I'm going to do this. We're going to today implement a part of a UI, and probably one of the most important parts of a UI, uh, besides the main menu, which, of course, we haven't gotten to yet, um, and we're not going to do today, but a health, you know, um person wants to kind of see what their health is, and we implemented that, but we don't have that, and now we do, and it's not just magic, because, and you did not, you're video uh your youtube did not just glitch out i just uh have already set this up and i'm going to show you how to do this a way probably much much quicker definitely quicker than i um than it took me to set it up um because i had to figure all this out from scratch anyways so uh let's get started for one i would like to demo it on our per precious wonderful wonderful little generator that kills us and burns us and electrocutes us uh okay so walk in once remember we're taking off 25 out of 100 so now we've got uh 75 health sorry 50 sometimes the collisions don't always work 25 and zero and we're dead and then the ui disappears and we restart just like it should happen perfect how was this achieved shading is still messing up well, I'm going to show you how this is achieved very quickly. It is not achieved with interfaces. It is not, we are not creating a widget, so do not worry about this. We will eventually get to a widget, but that is not what we're going to be using today. And for much more complex stuff, I'll, I would like to figure out how widgets work, because for some reason I can never get them to work properly. But we will. Don't, don't, don't worry. It'll be awesome. Um, so, excuse me. Excuse me about that. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so on our event tick, sorry, no, 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 no. We're going to, on our components, we're going to, excuse me, burps, uh, add a text render and name it whatever you want, but I named it Health HUD, or you can name it he HUD, Health, whatever. I colored it red because I like a red theme, even though most sci fi themes are blue, and copy these transform values. Uh, for location, uh, just round it off. Location, uh, x equals 24.5, y equals negative 21.5, z equals negative 14. Rotation, x 0, y 0, z 180. Scale, um, do point 0.13, um, and that's all. So, um, in your text field, uh, when you're setting up, just to make sure if these values, location, rotation, and scale values do not work for you, uh, put something in here with a color that's very noticeable compared to your uh, background or whatever if you're not completely following this series, which I don't expect you to 100% level design wise, but you know, if you're downloading it and whatever, um, red works just fine because it's kind of hard to miss red on silver and blue and all that. Anyways. Make sure there's nothing in here um, except for, you know, if you're trying to fix the location because um, no matter what, it's going to get overridden. So it doesn't need to be anything in here. We're on our event tick, our sequence on the event tick. We're going to add a pin and on two or whichever one that you have added or is empty, drag it down uh, to here and type in set text. Um, and it will, uh, and make sure context sensitive is off, preferably. Um, um, if it if it if it doesn't work, uh, turn off context sensitive. I mean, but preferably, uh, you will want to do the health HUD, and that will automatically connect our health HUD from here as our target, and uh, then we'll set up our value. Now, this looks like a lot to an extent, like, oh, there's there's a bit more that I'm going to have to type in. A lot of it is automatically done for you. Uh, what we're going to want to do is drag over our, open our attributes, drag over current health, get that. Drag that to our value, 
and that will automatically create this text to float right here. You don't need to mess with any of this because this is not uh, does not apply at all to what we're doing. So don't even worry about the drop down menu if you're one of those people who immediately looks at that. Um, and sometimes I am. That will automatically create that and that will automatically connect to this. This is once again, these two are automatically, these two little uh, nodes are automatically created when we drag this off uh, and say append. Now the reason this is not popping up, once again, context sensitive, string append not append array string append it's the green function uh, green f whatever anyways so uh, the green function logo i guess anyways that will automatically connect this to this to this to this to this to this all you really need to do add that percent sign and you're good that is pretty much telling it to take our current health convert it to text and add the uh, percent sign to it that we see here um, shift F1 so I can see my cursor the percent sign that we see here if we don't have that all we're gonna see is a hundred and uh, you know you can do HP if you want the percent to be before just simply uh, switch uh, switch uh, a to B so drag that to there break that link and put this percent sign there the hp or whatever you want to be your logo for health if you've got your if you've got a custom um excuse me uh text document or whatever dictionary that uh oh, what font thing whatever text material because that all that is is all that material is is just a whole bunch of text inside one material so if you have your own material that you want to use sweet use your own little logo um see i could do like a a plus sign um that wouldn't look too bad right yeah or i could do the plus sign before it so it'd be like our health is 100 percent. so i could I'll, I'll i'll i think i'll do that um So we would have our health here. We'll break that because our that's our our health's going to be in the middle, going to be plus, and then it's going to be percent. I'll put a space after the plus, so that way it's not all just one string. Sweet. And then, of course, uh, there's shading because it's just a floating piece of text um, that is in our viewport. That's all it is. Now, it looks like all crooked and... Oh, my gosh. I wish it would stop. Ah! It looks... Granted, it does look very crooked if I add some text to it. Correct? Right? Oh my gosh, I can't even see it. Anyways, you can you can see by the transform values that it is very crooked um, because that's that's what it does when you parent it to the camera and all that stuff. But it is fine. Obviously, it's fine because you can see it. Whatever you want your alignment to be in the camera, of course. Wow, that day-night cycle, though. I haven't even put that in. Oh, that would be something really cool to put in if you guys would want that. Why is there like imaginary shading that's just not even there? I really need to rebuild my lighting. I'll do that after I'm done with this episode. So um, yeah, that's about it though. But if you guys would like to see some day-night cycles, um, I, I I don't know about that actually. I, I would have to see what I can do for you there. Because I've never done anything with like environment kind of a, a highly interactive environment. Um, we, we will get into interaction like opening doors, pressing buttons, all that stuff, picking up things, dropping things, uh, and apparel like hats and whatever. But you probably have seen stuff like that. You just create a socket on your character, uh, put a preview mesh on it, kind of like we did with our rifle, and then you walk over the hat, 
attaches it to it to your head or you walk over the 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 backpack and attach it to your back whatever you probably have seen stuff like that but i'll put it in one of the episodes for like five minutes anyways well that'll be it for the ui um for this at this point in time i once again i'm hoping to transfer it over to a user interface that is actually a widget but i still need to mess around with some of that and if you guys can help me with any of that or have specific tutorials that you guys have personally seen used uh that are like oh my gosh this works really well why don't you implement this i'll be like okay and check it out use it whatever um but if you guys did like this a like would be very much appreciated maybe you could subscribe stick around for the other tutorials that'll be here um if you guys want to see me gaming i do that um i've been focusing on this a lot more so the gaming hasn't been uploaded but i've got some old stuff not too terribly old within this year um but uh yeah i've got some gaming stuff that you guys could check out and uh comments would be awesome too if you guys have some specific feedback or whatever uh, and once again, anything specifically uh, in this uh, FPS series, or maybe outside of the FPS series, that's related to Unreal, anything CGI. I do Maya, I do Blender. Um, so yeah, just ask, and uh, you, you, you know, you may receive. I, I do a lot of computer stuff. Um, so yeah, just ask about pretty much anything computers. I'll tell you if I do it. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.